Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man, what they do. Boy, TJ Too Smooth, Treasure One, and we are back again. About to handle some more business with the Cadillac CTS Coupe. You see the title, you see the thumbnail. Now, if you have been here for a while, you already know that we had the chance to remove the bumper and replace this daytime running light, the top headlight, not the bright light, but the regular headlight on the Cadillac CTS Coupe on the passenger side. Now, that has gone out again, and I wanna show y'all that. So, as you can see, that one comes on, that one doesn't. So, we're going back at it again. Um, if you all want to know a full in-depth way, the full in-depth, uh, see the full in, oh, fuck. If you all want to see the full in-depth tutorial of how to remove the headlights on the CTS or the CTS Coupe, click this video right here. I'll go ahead and put the card here. And of course, it will be in the description below. Um, and I'll walk you through step-by-step step how to get these headlights out, removing the bumper, removing the clips on the side. There you can see in depth, I'll teach you how to remove that. But today, instead of going step by step by step, I have a little bit more in store for you. I actually got myself some Plasti Dip, some more Plasti Dip, and I'm gonna touch up the Plasti Dip all around the chrome on the car because I also made a video doing that. And it's been, you know, about four or five months uh, since I sprayed it first. So we're about to spray it again and refresh that look. Um, and get all of that fresh black all the way around the car. There's even some parts that I peeled off. So we're gonna go ahead and spray those again and um, give y'all a good in-depth look at that. And you're gonna see the end result of how we freshen up the look of the CTS Coupe and we change the headlights. And I got LED headlights, by the way. These are the ones that I got. Those LED headlights, um, they have their own cooling system built in. Um, if these go out, if these LED headlights end up burning out, then I'm just gonna go ahead and swap out in the future to a HID headlight swap. Um, and I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get the whole system put in um, and then I'm gonna also change these out because it's not gonna be worth it for me to keep taking the bumper off, keep taking the bumper off every six months changing out headlights. That's just not worth it. So, you know, if these don't last at least a year, at least a year and a half um, or longer, um, then I will for sure be doing an HID swap and you guys will get that video. Comment down below if you want me to show you how to swap your headlights out with an HID system. Um, and I think I want, I think it's like 4,000 lumens, something like that with the blue headlights. Let me know if y'all want to see that. Um, but yeah, and also another thing that I'm going to plasti dip inside here, the bumper. If you have a CTS coupe, if you have a CTS, then you already know that that bumper is overexposed, it's exposed to the element. So that means that it's going to be rusted out. And we don't like the rusted look, guys. We're gonna spray that thing with some Plasti Dip, get it nice and black. I'm only gonna put like two coats on it. Boom, boom, let it dry, boom, boom. And that's done, and then we're gonna have that black look. One of my old coworkers actually pointed that out. He watched my video and he was like, damn it, I saw you spraying the whole car. He was like, why didn't you just spray that part of the bumper? Just spray it. So I'm sure some of you guys are thinking the same thing. Like, dang, Trey, just spray that bumper. It looks rusty. Get rid of that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to spray it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through those steps just like briefly because I do have an entire tutorial. Again, click right here and look up that tutorial on how to replace your headlights and remove the bumper. But I'm going to briefly walk you through those steps, kind of like speed through it and then um, you know, for you, it'll be a couple seconds, right? Maybe a minute or so. For me, it's going to be, um, you know, maybe an hour or two working on this car. Um, until then, I want y'all to go ahead and enjoy some of that Treasure One music. Matter of fact, I think we're going to play um, Fear God. Again, that boy Treasure One, man, that True Juwan 2 is dropping, man. If y'all haven't heard the first one, True Juwan, the link is below in the description. And that's the music that fuels these videos. It's my music, you know. I do sing. I do write. Um, so y'all need to check that out and you know without further ado man, let's get this work done. It's hot I'm definitely taking this off. I'm out here sweating. I got my fan right here I turned it off so y'all can hear me talking and um, you know from here We're gonna go ahead and take this bumper off 
and then throw those LED lights in. So let's get it. And then after that, we're gonna touch up all of the Plasti Dip and y'all are gonna see the end result of how sexy this thing looks after I spray the Plasti Dip, replace the lights, and give it a good wash. Oh, and spray that bumper. So anyway, TJ Too Smooth, y'all. Let's go! Juicy. Yeah, yeah, all of my bitches got pretty faces And she just let me hit, she a cute Jamaican In the mirror I see greatness in the making In the mirror I see real, I'm never faking And she just let me hit, yeah, I need percussion I just hit me a lick, I don't know you nothing Getting kinky, she know that I'm in it at Tweety Bird, yeah, I taught me a putty tag I might pit me a bitch like I'm Pooty Tang I see you getting rich, nigga, do your thing You had money, I didn't, you called it lame I got money, so now I treat you the same Then I'm on a mission and it's well planned Fear of God on me, yeah, man Run it up like 12 bands And I fear of God, not near man she said that she want me, I know that she need me She said that she love me, she never gon' leave me The booty is fat and the pussy is juicy I know she been eating and pimping ain't easy All in, I don't play with these niggas One knee down, pray for these niggas I ain't knowin' what to say to these niggas Kill it all, pick it all up, then I kill it again Pray to God, now I'm sinning again Hands itching and I'm itching to win Told my girl to be ready by nine We got dinner reservations at 10 And there you have it That's right, y'all. There you have it. That was the quick and condensed way of showing you how to take the bumper off of a CTS just to get to these right here. Um, woo. Took long enough. I'm sweating like hell. Um, again, if y'all really want to see the full in-depth way of how to take this off, where the screws are, what kind of screws, what all the tools you need, click this link right here. That video is available for you. Um, so right now we're gonna go ahead and pop these lights off and go ahead and add these right here. The Forcher LED lights in H11. So again, these are LEDs, all kind of stuff going on little bumpers, little pads, and zip ties. Look how pretty that is. So let's go ahead, get these headlights off, plug these in. Okay, y'all, so we have the headlight off. Now, the interesting part is going to be mounting the LED driver that comes with the actual light, the LED driver. Mounting that next to the light itself. That's gonna be fun, guys. Um, because the mount, the actual LED driver is kind of big. This is the driver. This is the LED bulb. And this driver must be mounted like near next to the bulb and held on with zip ties. So we're gonna open up the back of the light fixture here. And we're gonna see how much room we have to do all of this. <laughs> it is a lot. So um, let me go ahead and disconnect this. And I think it's best that I just kind of show you guys what I come up with at the end and then you guys can just do what I did. You know, um, you know how I do it, bro. Step by step, right along the way I take you with me. So just stick with me and we'll work this thing out. Boom, did that surgery. So look at that. That light is completely fried, y'all. That's what happened to the last light, the original light. It was completely fried. So um, I think this thing gets really hot. This light on this side gets really hot for whatever reason. And um, hopefully the LED bulbs, which are 
um, notoriously cooler. Notoriously cooler, known for using less power and way brighter, will be able to, uh, you know, hopefully the LED light will be able to quell that problem. Right, and if not, like I said, guys, we will be going to the HID swap. So let's put this in. I'm gonna let y'all know exactly what I come up with, how to mount the LED driver. So guys, the light itself actually slid right in, nice and easy. You twist it this way. If you wanna remove it, you wanna keep it in, put it in right there, and twist it clockwise to tighten it boom and it's secured you see it has a fan on the back here the driver itself is what's going to power the fan um, and the electrics that will fuel the led light now mounting this thing within here is proving to be an interesting and weird process because i believe that i would be better off mounting this driver inside of this compartment um, along with the rest of the um, the lighting fixture inside here so it's tucked away um, and covered up by that dust cover that goes right here boom put that on top of that so uh, let me try to finagle some stuff and see what I can do Okay. Either. All right, guys. So, what I've done so far, uh, I took the little sticky pad that comes with this thing, and uh, there's since there's no place to really mount this driver within the dust cover, and I read the instructions. Um, you're supposed to resecure your dust cover over this to make sure that it stays cool enough, because this fan has to keep everything nice and cool. Uh, I'm just going to use the sticky pad to stick it inside. So let me do that and I'll show you guys where I mount it, okay? All right, so all mounted up, tight and secured in the port. And there's the driver, secured and stuck in there. It's not going anywhere. I guarantee as time goes on and it heats up, this will basically glue itself even further to the side of the plastic. We're gonna close this thing back up. It does turn on and I'm gonna show y'all that in three, two, one. Okay, let us see. Woo, sheesh. That, sir, is LED, boy. Look at how bright that is. Look at how yellow that is. Wow. Man, I hope this lasts long, guys. Yep. Um, I hope this is a long-lasting fix, y'all, because, man, I'm so tired of taking my bumper off again and again. Um, it looks really good. looks really bright, really bright white. Um, super easy to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the other side on. Uh, get that other light in. Throw this bumper back on. Oh, spray paint. The rusty bumper and do the rest of the fixing on, on this thing. Let's go. And you know people not by what they say, by, but by what they do, right? I've never had an issue getting Yo, all right, y'all, so let's go ahead and plasti dip this nasty brown, rusty bumper bar and get rid of this rusty brown look. Shouldn't take long at all. Boom, 
See how quick that was, how easy that was? I honestly, uh, I don't even think it needs a second coat, honestly. Boom! And He's angry. There's no such thing as me getting mad. I'm just gonna nod and smile and get through this and then Ooh. Yes, sir. So there y'all have it, man. I see them LEDs. Blacked out. Blacked out. All of the touch-ups look good. Touched up. Yeah, buddy. I just wanted to make sure I get y'all the full finished product. Let y'all see what the fuck going on. Blacked out all the chrome. See that right there? That shit was chrome, murdered it out. Um, and then the LEDs look fly. Now, like I said, I hope it's a long-term fix. Um, I don't want to have to be swapping these things out every month. People staring at me looking weird. I don't want to be having to swap these shits out every six months, you know what I mean? Um, but either way it goes, the link will be below for y'all to purchase these headlights, the same ones that I got. They're working good for me. They look good. Uh, no flicker, nothing like that. I'm about to go take them on a long ass drive. These people being weirdo. I'm about to take a long ass drive down uh, south, like 30 minutes, and you know, 30 minutes back, and we'll see, you know, if anything starts flickering or you know, if hitting the brakes and going over bumps, if it starts fucking up. But for the most part, it looks good, y'all. I'm happy with the end result. And I know y'all see that bumper in there, right? No rust. Everything sprayed down. So, yes, sir. The Black Panther is officially murdered out. And those LEDs looking fly. So, subscribe to the channel. Share this with somebody who need to see it. It's your boy TJ Two Smooth Trajan One. And I'm gone.